I'm Dr. Alexandra Palmer. I'm the senior curator in global fashions and textiles, and I'm here in the conservation lab with our senior textile conservator, Chris Palasik. Hi, Alex. What Hi. is this glorious dress that we have on the table here? Well, this is, you'll be shocked. It's a Christian Dior, <laughs> my favorite. Um, and uh, it's from the Dior London collection as opposed to the Paris collection. And this was a separate line that was made um, for London and for export. And the designs were different, the textiles were different, and it was made in England. And it was given to the museum by Florence Richler, okay. who was actually a Christian Dior house model at the time. And um, so obviously got it directly from the house. And there's also, it's important that it has to look great on display. Okay. Um, well, everything does, but there's a very famous fashion photograph of this by Norman Parkinson um, of a model in India. He did a series of photography in India okay. um, in, in this temple uh, with all the gold of the sun. And it's just a, a glorious picture that was published in Vogue um, UK. So this dress has to sort of you know, shine. Yeah, it has to shine and come up to that image. Okay, no, so, no small request. Um, and I, I'd like you to give me an assessment of it in terms of conservation and how we can get it on display. Sure. Thanks. Um, as a conservator, one of my jobs is to examine the garments carefully and come up with uh, a course of treatment in order to make this exhibitable. So one of the things uh, I noticed right away, <clears throat> Alex, is over here, there are large mm. losses where you might expect them on the shoulder. Right, so yeah. this would have gone over here. Yeah, right. so the constant putting it on and off in the wear has resulted in splits and losses. So I would repair this and stabilize it with a compatible silk fabric. And by compatible, I mean similar in weight and the same fiber structure. Mm -hmm. And I would support it underneath and stitch it with a fine hair silk. So uh, this is actually silk, because it's silk and gold. Yeah. And I was wondering if it was synthetic. Um, it's actually uh, a silk with a metallic thread. So it's, I would call it a silk lamé. And okay. what's interesting <clears throat> is that they have used the reverse. The iridescent mm. side is on the inside. So as a curator, I'm asking you, why is that, Alex? It's a design thing. It's beautiful. It gives it it gives it this softer sheen, and it's okay. it's very beautiful. And well, you can see it there. That's the inside of the train. There's a long train that runs behind it. Right. So um, so you'd stabilize these things. Yeah. And it's still going to have the same drape because this is a very drapey gown. Yeah. Yeah. Again, once we use the proper fabric and uh, the proper fiber content, I think we'll be okay. Okay. So you want to turn it over? Yes, please. Okay. Which way? That way? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so we're wearing gloves, Chris, because of the textile, right? Right. I think it's really important when you're uh, dealing with textiles with metallic components to wear gloves because your hands contain acids that can uh, leave residue on the surface of the textile, the metals, and cause corrosion. So uh, definitely always when handling metal in any kind of a textile, wear a pair of gloves. Right, it's like leaving fingerprints on the silver, isn't That's it? That's exactly yeah. it. <clears throat> okay, so we got this fabulous inside corset. This is the guts of the dress and this is what um, really holds it up, not so much the sleeves. Right. And it's one of these kind of classic um, Dior net um, but it's in actually that... really good condition, <clears throat> okay, often good. in a lot of Dior, because, you know, we just mounted the Dior show in mm -hmm. Montreal at the McCord Museum. A lot of the interior corsets are really degraded, deteriorated, stiff, yellowed. Yeah. yeah, maybe it's the sweat too. Yeah, combination of soiling and so on and so forth. But this mm -hmm. is in good condition. And then there's this, um, it's dirty down at the hem and under the pit rot, our favorite. Yeah, it's, um, you know, this sort of greenish corrosion mm. or um, deterioration is a result of the use of de um, deodorants mm. in combination with um, body perspiration and metallic threads. So you get this sort of green residue around the armholes right, in, in here, the back. On the back yeah. Where, yeah. And the hem? The hem is soiled in general, and it's also the, the metallic threads have oxidized a little bit. 
I would leave well enough alone. I, w I think you can do a lot with lighting. Right. In order to improve the look, because sometimes stain removal can cause a lot more damage than the good that it does. Right. So yes. I would we, avoid we've that. We've learned those lessons too, alas. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So here's the label, which is very nice. Christian Dior um, Limited London. <clears throat> And um, the dress comes back here and it has this beautiful um, two panel drape. And you think it can be mounted on a mannequin or on maybe an invisible form so yeah, it looks either, really glammy. Yeah. When, once <clears throat> all the splits and losses are sta stabilized for sure. Yeah. Okay. It'll look glorious. We'll bring it back to its former grandeur. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome.